probably one here. And I'm going to double it. Double, double, double. This is three. And let's see, probably go with here. So I need a negative. And I'll just go with that. That's it. There's the piece. This comes over and gets rid of that. So I'll probably do this. And I'm even there. And I'll go with that. Let's cancel. And let's see. I might go. Um, how about if I went with one like this? And then took half of it. This goes away, that goes down. This becomes two and a half, uh, which cancels that. So these cancel. This goes over and cancels that. And it goes. Okay. So I get something like this, but this is the negative. So let's make it positive. Positive, 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 opposite, 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 opposite. Opposite, 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 opposite. Okay, this is uh, three. I can read that. Twenty-three, and then this is nine. Can't read this one though. So we need a zero pair here. In which case, this comes over and gets rid of that, and then this can come. Uh, I can read that. Um, let's see, this is 14, 3. Can't read this one. So, let's see. Well, let's see, wait a minute. Yeah, that's 9. This is 2. But I can't read this one. So, the 0 pair there. This comes over and cancels that. Okay. Now, let's see what we got. And I'll compare it with my calculator answer. Two, three. Oh, let's see. The one one decimal digit down, right? So one. So this is the um, unit line. Twenty-three point zero because this is part of an eight. Zero eight five seven one four two nine, and I got. Uh, Five, but calculator didn't go that far. Okay, so we're okay as far as uh, that goes. Now, but what would the Romans have done with this? They don't use decimal digits, so they decimal fractions. So they're going to have to do something uh, to convert this into um, duodecimal fractions. So we could. We could subtract out the 23, because we're all set with that. But this fraction, we need to convert to uh, base 12. So let's see if we can find a quick, quick and dirty way of finding uh, duodecimal fraction values. So here's uh, a truncated version of the last number we had. Uh, we got 23 here. The decimal point is here. So why don't we, I'm going to record it here the um, duodecimal fractions. We're only going to get two digits uh, just to see what happens here. Uh, but first we'll take the 23 here and put that down here. So our number is going to be 23 and then some fractions. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by 12 and then strip off the integer part as the first duodecimal fraction digit and then we're going to do it again. Now multiplying by 12 is the same as multiplying by the quantity 10 plus 2. So if we could take this, 
multiply it by 2 and also multiply it by 10 and then add them, we'd have this number times 12. So I'm just going to do it quick and dirty here. I'm going to put, I'm going to double this on the sides here. So double, 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 and then this is 2, so doubling it is going to give me uh, 4, and then double this, uh, that's 2, so I'll, give, I'll get 4. Okay, so on the side I've got double. Now all I have to do is take the center part and multiply it by 10. Just shift it up one line or space. Okay, now if I collapse those, I'll have that original number times 12. So, but right away, since this is the, this is the uh, decimal position, we can see that we're going to get a 1 here for our first duodecimal, oops, it's positive, duodecimal um, fraction, so 1 twelfth. Uh, so now let's collapse all of this. Um, let's see. I can promote one of these. Um, I promote one of these. This is three. I can promote. This is three. Promote. Uh, let's see. This can come over and take away one of those. And then these go away. This can come over and take away one of those. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing, only um, now we'll do the doubling in here and then um, times 10 on the outside. So we get, uh, this is here, right? Yeah. So we're going to get this doubled. Then we need this doubled, which is this. Then we need this doubled, which is two of these. And we need this guy doubled, which is one up here, and this guy doubled, which is two of these. Okay, so this is the double. Now multiplying by 10, move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Okay, so you can see already we're not getting a digit for here, it's zero. So we're pretty much done if we only go that far. But let's go ahead and do another one. We won't be able to record it, but just to see what happens. So first we collapse this. Uh, let's see, this is 4, so 1 minus 5. Uh, promote these. These go away. This comes here. These go away. Okay. So now I want to double first. So doubling this gives me one there, and doubling this gives me two, and doubling this puts one there, and doubling this gives me two, um, doubling this gives me two, and doubling this gives me a four. Okay, so I've got that, let me check, double, uh, double, 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 uh, double. Okay, now we need to times 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, now we can collapse. This is going to go away. And it looks like, well, let's continue just to make sure we don't screw things up here. Uh, these go away. These go away. This is 4, so we go up here and over here. This promotes. Okay. So this, this, this digit is going to be 5 minus 1 or 4, so down here we would have another 4 as a base 12 fractional part. 